Welcome again and good day to all. I welcome you guys to another devotional here today. And I am always, always excited to get into the Word of God with you guys as we grow together in God's kingdom. So we have been looking at the seven churches that were mentioned in the book of Revelation. And we stated that these seven churches are actually a representation of the churches that we have today. And the principles that are found in the instructions that were given to these churches are very relevant even today. And John speaks about the positives within the churches, then he pinpoints their uh, shortcomings, and he ends by giving them some clear, precise instructions. And those instructions in the form of principles are what we are going to look in today and hopefully activate it into our lives. So we are looking at Revelation chapter 2 from verse 9, where it speaks about uh, the church in Smyrna. And the scripture says, I know your works, tribulation and poverty, but you are rich. And I know the blasphemy of those who say that they are Jews, but are not, but a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that you may be tested and you will have tribulation, but be faithful until death and I will give you the crown of life. And in reading this passage of scripture, the principle that we are taking out today is a call to stand. Yes, this is a call to stand. To you, to me, and the churches of today, a call to stand. To stand uh, in what you have been going through in your life. To stand in what is to come in your life. The scripture says that this church, that he knows their works, their tribulation, they go through hardship. You and I, we face hardship. Even when coming into the fold, coming into the ministry, uh, some people say that when you come into Christ, that everything is going to be nice and easy. And no, that's not true. Things don't get easy, but God makes us stronger when we come into his kingdom, into his light. But we are still going to face tribulations. We are still going to face trials, hardship. The scripture here says that uh, they face temptations, they face tribulation, they, they face poverty. Some of us right now looking at me, um, listening here, you were once sick. Uh, you were once lost in the world. You were once poor. You were once broken. You were once, you know, abandoned, abused, and all these things. And even as Christians, we face some of these things, but there's a why. There's a hope. And the scripture here gives us that hope that we will be given the crown of life. But it means that we have to remain faithful in these trials, faithful in these testings. And we have to be able to stand. It's a call to stand. Your faithfulness is the answer to your hope. And that hope is the crown of life. We all have a hope in Christ Jesus. The scripture always speaks about being in Christ. We are a new creature. All things have passed. And God also states in his word in John chapter 16 verse 33 that he says that in me you will have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. So don't take it from me. Don't take it from your family or your friends or your pastors. Take it from God's word. He says that you will face trials. You will face testings. You will face tribulation. In Psalm 34 verse 19 it says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of all. He delivers him out of all. So let's remind ourselves of God's word this morning that we will be able to stand when afflictions come. We will be able to stand when trials come. Imagine being able to know that tomorrow is going to come with its own troubles, with its own tribulation. It gives us a hope and that hope is to stand in the midst of it all. So my action steps for us today is to be faithful in the little things and begin to surround yourself around people of God. Immerse yourself in worship and in Bible uh, teaching groups. Because when you begin to do this, you continue to remind yourself of the hope in why you face trials. The hope in why you face testings and tribulation. I think about uh, this analogy of a pencil. If I'm given one pencil, I could break it easily. But if you take that pencil and you place it with 10, 15, 20 other pencils, it's hard to break all those together. And when you, when you are in groups, when you surround yourself around 
God fearing individuals, it's hard for you to be broken in the midst of trials. It's harder for you to be broken in the midst of temptations and testings. So give yourself that opportunity to find that hope and know that you can be able to stand in the midst of them all. Guys, you are loved, you are gifted, and you are needed. Be blessed.